Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped hundreds of students get into top university courses such as UCL Economics. My network success rate of getting offers from this course is 93%. That is six times the average acceptance rate, which sits at just 15% on average each year. Now, this course is highly competitive. It requires A star AA with the A star required in mathematics. It is a quantitative course, but most students applying are likely to have above that two A stars, maybe three A stars, possibly four A levels overall. So today we're going to be sharing how do we give you tips to give you the edge over those other candidates. Number one, is to consider, is this the right course for you? Now, this blows my mind, but philosophy and economics at UCL has a 38% acceptance rate. So if you are a little bit close to the boundary or concerned about your grades, you can more than double your chance of success by broadening to this degree. And it's still got a massive economics focus and you can specialize in economics as you go through it. Also, PPE has a slightly higher 19% acceptance rate, but that 38% has to be considered and could be a fantastic second or third option if you're also applying to Oxford and LSE, which is probably quite likely, let's be honest. Now, tip number two is to talk about econometrics in your personal statement. They love a strong quantitative background, but econometrics is the combination of statistical methods with real world economics and business insights. If you can show that you understand what econometrics is, in fact, even just knowing that econometrics is a subject will give you an advantage, and importantly, that you enjoy it and you're excited to learn how it will apply to subjects, this will give you a big advantage because econometrics is the bane of many economic students in the UK's courses, and a lot of students do drop out because they don't enjoy it. So you're showing that you're the sort of student who's not just going to not drop out, but actually thrive in this course double thumbs up from the admissions committee for that one. Tip number three, as always, strong quantitative background. Interestingly, unlike LSE and Oxford, there isn't this soft requirement for further maths. If your school offers further maths, you are not expected to take it. Now, students with further maths do have a slightly higher acceptance rate, but that doesn't mean there aren't plenty of students who get in without further maths. So again, it could be your first choice UCL, but a fantastic backup option I'd always include if you're going for Oxbridge, LSE, or another top university as well. You want a strong track record of maths that goes all the way back. So an A star, that's a level eight or nine in maths is worth mentioning in your personal statement and talk to your referee to make them talk about your mathematical ability. The fact you're predicted an A star is important, but have you gone further? Have you self-taught some subjects? Have you done the university um, challenge? That's the gold challenge uh, for mathematics. Have you done some additional courses that you can talk about? If so, put them in your personal statement. If you haven't yet, look around at what you might be able to do. If you really want the challenge, there's a step, you can just do one paper in that, or TMUA, the test for mathematics at university admissions, ways to really stand out and show you will enjoy maths. Now, that's just three of the tens of tips we have for this course. If you're enjoying it so far, please do like and subscribe, it really helps us out. Also, if you have any questions for me, comment. I really enjoy getting comments and giving advice to people all around the world that might be specific to them. It might well help another candidate in a similar position as well. Tip number four. Now, UCL say what they're looking for on their website, and do make sure you read through the website for their economics page. They are looking for four things. That's creative problem solving, critical evaluation, logic, and communication skills. You might not be able to get all of those skills into your personal statement, but if you can pick one or two and explicitly talk about them and talk about what you have done. So maybe in creative problem solving, did you do some work experience? Did you come up with a brilliant idea? 
Use the STAR technique. Situation and task. Where were you? What were you asked to do? Action. How were you the hero of the story? And reaction or reward. What came from it? How did it help out? Did you get another job offer off the back of it? These little paragraphs can be so helpful to help you to stand out. So align yourself with those four prompts that UCL explicitly say they are looking for. Lastly, um, the five point pillar plan is what I have been using for years to help hundreds of students. Check out our LSE economics video for all of those pillars because many of them are similar. So I won't go through them again today. But as always, motivation and a binding theme, work experience, a career plan, key skills, and make sure that you talk to your referee before you go ahead. Now, that's just a small number of tens of tips that we can give you. Do head over after this to our How to Smash Your Personal Statement video, which we'll link in the description below. If you would like more than that, we've got an exemplar personal statement you can sign up to also below, and this will tell you exactly how to implement those five pillars, more about them, and even I've written a statement with all of them in context to help give you a massive advantage when applying and to simplify the headaches of your personal statement. You can also, through signing up for a exemplar statement, ask for a free review from one of my wonderful team. But the best way to maximize your chances is to work with an ex admissional profession, someone who's worked at LSE, worked at UCL, worked at Oxbridge, someone like myself who has helped hundreds of students as a professional admissions consultant. We love getting offers and we'd love to help you. If you're interested, information on the screen as always. Contact us, use the information below. Most importantly, good luck in your application. We're rooting for you.